Hello and welcome to JustComparecars.com. My name is James and today I've got the pleasure in showing you this 2018 Ford Ranger 2.2 TDCI 160 Black Edition Double Cab. It's done 68,000 miles, one previous keeper and it's got full service history. Um, these vehicles were made in very limited numbers. It's one of 2,500 made worldwide and as you hopefully will see as we walk around it today, it's in great condition. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now. We find them to be very popular, mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here in person. As I go around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tires. We'll have a look in the back and then we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at the seats, the functionality, dashboard, absolutely everything there um, i'll even tell you what it smells like as well when we've done that we'll pop the bonnet have a look at the engine and finally we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine the chassis and of course the spare wheel now once you've watched the video if you're happy with what you see then we're happy to take a deposit off you but obviously that's only once you've watched the video because then you've seen the vehicle that will secure it for you and take it off sale and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere that you need it to be if you're looking to finance a vehicle, we will ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT because it is a VAT applicable vehicle. An application takes about five minutes and we can usually get you a decision within about an hour. Um, it's also worth noting that once you've watched your video, if you think I've missed something or if you'd like to see something in a little bit more detail, just ask. Um, I will say though, in the three years, nearly four years I've been doing these videos, at the moment, no one's actually asked me to do it any more, any more detail. So I'd like to think I do it in quite a lot of detail anyway. Okay, so let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there. Hopefully, as you can see um, from the video, um, the paint is in great condition. It's very shiny and it's in really nice condition. I believe it's an obsidian black. Um, the only reason I mention that is because when I've just been looking around it a second ago before I've decided to video it, I've noticed that in the, on the wheel paint, there's like a little fleck of color. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's got a um, little red and black in it. So I do believe it's obsidian black, which is a really phenomenal color. Okay, so in regards to the bonnet, um, no obvious marks, scratches or dents. It looks in really nice, clean condition. It's obviously been cared for. Um, I would suggest it's probably been used as a car. So, driver's side headlight and front bumper working our way around. You'll notice that there's no nasty marks or dents. There is a couple of sm uh, small stone chips, but nothing more than you would expect. Passenger side headlight again is in great condition. It has got front parking sensors and rear parking sensors and it's also got a reversing camera as well which we'll show you working when we get inside. Passenger side front wing is in really nice clean condition. Again there are a couple of very minor imperfections in the paint but they are minor. I mean things like that and there's a I think that's a it's a bit of polish comes off so that's nothing either but other than that you know there's nothing so passenger side front wheel and tire the wheel as you can see is in lovely condition there's no burring or damage everything looks good um tire i would guess there's approximately um six or seven mil and it's a neck sen i don't know if they're a matching set all around or not but We'll find out as we get around, I suppose. Passenger side mirror back is in nice clean condition. There's no damage and the mirror is intact. Windscreen, um, there's no obvious stone chips or cracks, but we can have another look when we get inside. Let's go over the pillars first. And as you can see, they're in nice clean condition. There's no damage or dints. Side of the roof, and that's in really nice, clean condition as well. Right, so before I go down the passenger side, I always like to have a look from here because it gives you an idea of what the gaps are like. You can see that they're not misaligned, everything's in place, 
which obviously shows that it's not had any damage and the doors have been removed. Right, so let's have a look down the passenger side. Always nice to look at it like this, then you can see if there's any dents and you can see that the paint's in really nice clean condition as well. <clears throat> From this side, side step as you can see is in great condition, as is the paint. I can't see any dents. See, I can. There's a very, very fine one there. I don't think it's going to show up. It is tiny, but it is just there. can't make it show but it, as I say it is tiny it's me being critical I'd rather be critical and show you everything though very tiny just metal mark there as well make it show see that there it's very small but it is there and there's a very small dent as well just below it onto the rear quarter And again, it's in fantastic condition. I can't see any marks or dents. A small dent there. There is a very small dent just there. It won't show on the camera. Passenger side rear wheel and tyre. Again, the wheel's in great condition, as you can see. Uh, it's a Delint tyre. Must be a truck tyre. Four or five mil. As you can see, it's got a uh, roll cage with a mountain top roll, all in great condition. In black, obviously, for the black edition. And doesn't it look good? It really does look good. Passenger side tail light. Again, you can see it's got a special film over the light to make it look black. Great condition, no damage, no cracks. Little tiny mark on the film, nothing serious. Look at the tailgate. And again, it's in lovely condition. Really, really good. It's got a uh, few minor dents on top, but God, nothing serious at all. It's just obviously where it's been used. Things have been going in and out and it's just had a couple of little knocks, but the, the paint looks fantastic. It's got like a satin finish on top which matches obviously the roll and lock. Rear bumper's in nice clean condition. There's no obvious damage, everything looks nice and clean. There's a few little bits, but nothing serious. So we'll look in the back. As you can see, the roll and lock works perfectly got the strap which is important in the back it looks nice and clean as I say again it, it, when you look in the back of these you can see these fins here um, when they've been used in a heavy or uh, industrial way you do notice that these get burred very easily because it's just plastic and as you can see they're all very intact and in the back it's really nice and clean and that's the same on the actual rear of the door as well Right, so let's go down the driver's side. Again, the tail lights in really nice, clean condition. There's no damage, no cracking, no misting. Everything looks spot on. Onto the rear quarter. And again, it's in really nice, clean condition. There's no obvious marks or dents and the paint's in great condition. Being really, I mean, properly critical, the plastic liner is just hanging down a little tiny bit. Obviously that's really easy to rectify um, if you were that bothered. But other than that, roll cage, all the plastics and the roll and lock, everything, fantastic condition. Now, arguably roll on top, if you don't need a canopy, it's one of the best you can get. Probably the safest option. They're not easy to get into, but I'm sure you know, if someone wants to get into it, they will, but it is the safest option that's out there, I believe. So just notice then there's a small dent there, you can see that, it's not serious but it is there, 
Right, so let's go over the pillars. And again, it's in really nice, clean condition. There's no damage. Driver's side of the roof. And again, it's in great condition. Right, so let's go down the driver's side. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the panel gaps before I forget. Difficult to see when it's black, but um, I can tell you they're all aligned correctly. There's no misalignment at all. No signs of any paint or anything like that. It just is in really very clean condition. So as you can see, as we go down the driver's side, it's in really very clean condition. I think I just caught a glimpse of a very small dim. Let me just see if I can see it. Very, very, very small dim. Just there. Doesn't actually show, but. It, as I say, it's the size of a pinhead. Side steps are in really great condition. And as you can see, the paint is phenomenally clean. Driver's side mirror back. It's clean, no damage. Mirror's intact. And on to the passenger side front wing just realized I've forgotten to do the rear wheel and tail we'll have a look at that in a second yeah it's great condition so driver side rear wheel and tire again the wheels in great condition it's a Nexon tire and it basically looks like new and then driver side front wheel and tire and again a Nexon tire so there's three Nexons and then one odd one, so it's obviously had a puncture at some point, but the wheel's in great condition. Okie dokie, so onto the interior. I'll just summarise the exterior, I think you'll agree it's in fantastic condition. Um, it's clearly been used as a car, not as a, as a truck. So, driver's side door card is in nice clean condition. It's free from any damage, everything looks spot on. On the driver's armrest you've got your electric windows times four, your window lock. And then up above is your door lock. Driver's seat is fully electric. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Um, seat, bolster's really very nice and clean. The bolsters are very tight. I feel like new, really. Seat's in great condition. It's got the typical slight mark on the side of the um, seat. They all do it. Um, it's like a, it's not leather, it's a velour side. And as you get in and out and sit on it, it cracks. It's unfortunate, but they all do it. I've seen a 2020 truck with it, with 10,000 miles and it cracked. Um, got mats all around. Carpets are all in nice, clean condition. Let me jump in. Uh, this one has only got one key. Start it up, just start it. You have to put your foot down the clutch, press the brake, and it went fine into action straight away. Let's turn that down. <coughs> right. Dashboard is nice and clean. It's free from any damage. I can't see any anyway. There's no obvious marks or damage. Little mark there, look. You can see that on the tray. Other than that there's nothing else. Steering wheel is really nice and clean there's no fading um, there's no stitches coming out it just looks tidy that's good news. Uh, right so let's have a look at the steering wheel controls. <coughs> Excuse me as you can see on the dashboard there's no warning lights other than obviously the handbrakes on. Um, steering wheel controls this part here controls this part here can't see because my hands have got gloves in this part here so that screen there you've got lots of different options in regards to that i think that the one that it's on at the moment you'll probably find is the best it's got the temperature of the vehicle the fuel and then obviously you can see your revs um down below is cruise control and then opposite side basically this one here does the same thing for here you can have your navigation as it's on there obviously there's no navigation at the minute you can have your radio and i think your phone can be on there as well 
Um, lower part is your media centre control, so as you saw a minute ago, volume. As you can hear, stereo works well, speakers are nice and clear, there's no issues there. Um, middle one is mute, uh, voice command, and then you can answer your phone and hang up from there, and also you can skip tracks or stations from there as well. Uh, media centre, let's look at start with the reversing camera. Really very nice clear image. You'll notice top right there's a picture of the truck and as you get closer to items there's a fan and it will show you how close you are to them from there as well. So that works really nice and obviously there's an audible alert as well. Media centre, um, let me just take my glove off because it'll be easier to use. Um, arguably I think it's probably the best media centre you can get. Um, I think Navarra is a close second, but <clears throat> the reason I like Rangers over the Navarra is the fact that the, the map is fluid. I can't describe it. You know when you're using a phone and you pinch in and you zoom out, it works in the same way and it works at the same sort of speed, so it really works very well. Um, you've got lots of different options. What I quite like about the later ones is you notice the crosshairs. So if you put a postcode in, for instance, and it doesn't recognise it because it's a bit too new for the vehicle or whatever. If you've got an idea of where it is on a map, what you can actually do is you can scroll. So if we go in there, look, and it'll click on start, and it'll guide you to it. So that's really cool. I like that. Uh, the later systems, like this one, has got Wi-Fi, Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay. It's got everything you could ever need, Bluetooth, you name it, it's got it. Um, I quite like the source on these as well. You click on source, you can see you've got CD, DAB, FM, AM, and also the Bluetooth audio as well. So your kids will be happy. Uh, climate control. Um, it's not exactly the day for aircon, but let's give it a go. Seats on while I'm here, just to see if they work. And the aircon does work and it's cold it's got that bite to it straight away and that is enough of that um, obviously your bluetooth for your phone your navigation obviously mobile apps when you plug your phone in down here at the two usbs um, all that can be controlled from here as well and that works as you can see perfectly um, six speed manual gearbox um, ford says 40 to a gallon if i'm honest i think that's a little bit expectant probably about 35 ish um, maybe a bit more it's going to depend on you obviously this one's not got a tow bar so it's not going to be towing anything recently by the way if you do need a tow bar we can get you one done at a trade cost so please just ask um switchable four-wheel drive stop start park assist stability control and hill descent all on the main console taz got a cup holder center armrest with coin stack if you see that little black circle and i really like that um, if you've got your air conditioner on in summer and you want to keep your drinks cool or anything, you can put your drinks in there. Equally, you can put your pie in there and keep your pie warm. Um, you just obviously have to switch the thing over. Uh, see, passenger seat, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that's ever been sat in. Um, bolsters feel like brand new. You know when you feel first getting a car and the bolsters are like new? That's what that is. Um, I bet this has been used as a director's car up and down the motorway. Um, obviously claiming the tax back on the fuel and the VAT back and whatever else, it makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, it makes sense for the for the mileage and everything, obviously. What's it done? 68? 68,000? There's nothing. Kept it for three years, chopped it in and got a new one. Roof lining. Everything looks really clean. There's no obvious marks or damage. It smells nice inside as well. It doesn't smell like it's been smoked in. Um, obviously that doesn't matter to some people if you smoke it don't matter but for the people that don't um, I always mention it it smells nice it's alright um, armrest nice and clean I don't think of anything else what else uh, it's got electric folding mirrors they do work um, obviously electric windows into windows in the back you can see that there you go you can see everything works horn you name it it works no issues at all um electric mirrors are there light control you've got automatic lights so you just put it on a for auto if you think your lights are a bit higher a bit low you can change them there and yeah it's got everything cool 
pop the bonnet while we're here I'll show you where that is that's just there let's have a look in the back so door cards in the back are really nice and clean there's a little tiny mark on the handle there nothing else so seats in the back I don't think they've been sat in, like I say, I think it's been used as a director's car. The bolsters on these just feel new and very clean and everything looks spot on. Carpets are in good condition. And you can lift these up and you can latch them back with the uh, latch if you want to. As you can see, you've got um, cubby holes under there as well. As you know, all the carpets are really very nice and clean. Um, it has got an armrest in the back. You've got kids with cup holders, so that's good news. And the seats do come forward and you can see you've got your tool roll and also your jacks there as well and as you can see it's all very nice and clean in the back one little thing on if you can see that little mark on the window it's got a window film it's obviously just had a little knock at some point you could just use a bit of a sharpie and just call out and you never see it let's have a look around the passenger side Again, passenger door cards are all in great condition. As you can see, the seats are in fantastic condition, both sides. Not electric on this side though. Door cards in good condition. Again, there's a couple of little tiny marks, as you can see. Maybe they've had something. What you can do is you can put the seats up and obviously you can store things in the back. Maybe they've done that. All the seats and everything's in great condition. Spot on. Let's have a look under the bonnet. I always prefer doing ranges under the bonnet because it goes upon its own. So as you can see, the pneumatics work really well. Fluids are very clean and to the correct levels. Nice and clean under the bonnet. A lot of people ask us if we clean them, but we don't. We don't, as you can hopefully <laughs> see. It's just as they are. I can't see the point. You can see around the turbo unit, it's really nice and clean. There's no signs of any oily residue. And the same around the engine, you can see that there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Everything looks spot on. Ford Motor Company battery, always nice to see, obviously. Can't see the belts on these ones because they've got the belt protectors, but it's 2018, it's got full service history. It's been maintained correctly. That's what you obviously need to see at this point in time. Maybe in 15 years time, you'll be going looking for those, but at this point in time it, they're an, it's a nice clean truck and it's been maintained correctly let's have a quick look underneath we're nearly there hopefully he's still with me so you can see again under the engine there's no signs of any historic oil leaks everything's clean and dry and that's the same for the chassis and the exhaust everything's in great condition and it's very clean and dry Hello Amy. Oh Amy's come to say hello. Rear diff. Again, it's in great condition. It's dry. No oily residue. Everything looks spot on. Spare wheel is I think it's a steel and it's got a decent tire on it. Okie dokie. Hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person and um, probably a little bit more well, we're on 23 minutes i'm sorry i do go on but i'd rather show you absolutely everything than not enough um, at the end of the day it's a big purchase we want to make sure that you're happy with what you see and what you're getting so i really appreciate your time thanks for sticking with me for the moment though take care stay safe bye bye